Welcome back. The pandemic upended operations for small businesses across the country. But from those challenges, entrepreneurs did what they do best, look for opportunity. And a new report finds that women are leading the charge. CNBC's Kate Rogers is here with more. Kate. Hi again, Julia. The data show that women seized the opportunity to launch new ventures during the pandemic at nearly double the rate of men. Data from Wells Fargo show new business starts from 2019 through 2023 were up nearly 14 percent for women. That's about double what we saw for men. What's more, growth rates for revenue and employment are even higher for businesses that are owned by black and African-American women with their business growth rates outpacing the markets. Now, this is key as businesses owned by women and minorities, remember, were disproportionately impacted impacted early on in the pandemic and were less likely to receive initial rounds of Paycheck Protection Program funding. Ruby Taylor, who is a former school social worker, runs the Financial Joy School, which aims to close the financial wealth gap and create a new generation of black investors. Taylor has overcome not only funding challenges to launch her business, but also a traumatic brain injury in 2012 that drastically altered her life. She learned about long-term investing, she says, from the parents of a former student and got the idea to launch her business from there. When my financial situation changed, I like began to invest. And then I saw my money grow. I'm like, this is so dope. So I am on a mission to create a financially equitable world where everybody can build generational wealth, no matter your income. Now, Ruby graduated from Milestone Circles, which is a program presented by the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center. It's also sponsored by Wells Fargo. It helps owners find new pathways to funding. That is very key, Julia, in overcoming some of these barriers for owners, of course, as they look to grow their businesses. Back over to you.